Working people are the unsung heroes and heroines of our economy. And if ever there was to be a Nobel Prize to be given to a group of people, it would deserve to be given to working people in our country because it is on the shoulders of the working people of our country that this economy has been built. It is on these shoulders. They may be frail shoulders, many of them are strong shoulders, but on your shoulders, on the members that you represent shoulders, rests the real economic power of this country, and we applaud you for that. The ANC's 2015 January 8 statement says that no worker must be left unorganized. An unorganized worker is an exploited worker. I actually firmly believe in that. I think in the end, what would serve our country best is to have as many workers, many working people, as possible organized. And in the end, friends, colleagues, and comrades, there is just no way that a single partner of all our social partners' architecture would ever be able to address the problems that we face, the challenges that we face alone. It is not possible. And in fact, around the world, many, many countries have realized that no single entity can ever successfully address the problems that any country faces. We all have to work together. So in many ways, we are joined at the hip. We are bound together. Whether we like it or not, we are bound together and we have to work together to put things right and to make this country to move forward. There is no choice and there is no opting out I do not see any good number of us saying, I'm opting out, I'm getting off this ship, we are bound on this ship together, and we've got to make things work. And one of the ways of making things work is to have the social compact that I'm talking about. We've got to build a future together. and. We, built, we, we drafted a wonderful preamble when we were drafting the National Development Plan. We said that we, the people of South Africa, have joined, journeyed together since the long lines of our first democracy, when we elected a government for all. And now the National Development Plan makes us look into the future. It makes us look to 2030 exactly 15 years from now we have to imagine that future and what is that future going to be the future that we should begin to imagine today is the future which we set out in the national development plan and we say now in 2030 we live in a country that we have remade and here we are a bunch of winning South Africans given the opportunity, the great opportunity to remake our country. There aren't many people in the world who have an opportunity to remake, reshape, reconstruct, re-engineer their country. And here we are. Yes, 20 years later, after the dawn of our democracy, we have this great opportunity to continue being architects, to continue being builders, to continue being engineers, to reshape the country that we live in.